the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Understanding. If the person is not asking you to receive their God for salvation, now no question required. You know, in other words, if they say they believe in the goat in the bank. I, I remember our bishop one time was joking about, you don't see nobody praising the bank, right? He said, Santras, Santras, oh, well, Santras. <laughs> there's some people doing that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> But when you know what he owners. says. Look, them owners is doing that. <laughs> 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 going out there for no reason. <laughs> hey, well, right. There's some people up there saying that money in there, right? The money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The money well, is okay. So the, here's a question I have. Uh, how did that conversation start? That video. Okay. The video, the video I showed you earlier, I play, I, they played the sound to you where it said people are leaving the church, y'all yeah. people leaving the church because they're not finding Jesus in the church, yeah. right? Okay. So, uh, so if if somebody says they they believe in a God and uh, And then you ask them, you have to ask the question, well, what God? <laughs> okay, because just somebody saying you believe, I mean, to some folks, Satan is a God. Right. You know, uh, and, and that's who they serve. So uh, some people think that, that uh, ex-president Trump is a God. Right, they're the golden statue of him. They worship him. So, you know, uh, just to somebody to say that, I mean, if somebody just walked up to me and said that, that's, <laughs> that requires a response from me. You yeah. know, right. that's all communication. Right. So if you communicate with me, then you're going to get a response. And sometimes my nonverbal is a verbal. So it's for a response, whether I say something or not. Uh, so <laughs> there's always a response when there's communication. And it so requires it for understanding or, 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 you know, especially if you think it, I think sometimes people misinterpret our call to go preach the gospel and to discuss it. Uh, and they think we're judging people. I think that's how he's taking it from his perspective. Is because he said, here's a more statements here. He, I mean, he's a good brother. He's a good brother. He said, I said, if, if you're not asking for salvation, like you're saying, if you're not, if you come to tell me about your God, but you're not telling me that you can come be part of it, then no question may be required. But I, that his reply, his response was no. No ask, no salvation required, right? That that was the point. Then he said, religion separated man from God. And then he said, God connected to man with African spirituality. And I said, how does that mean no question asked? Can we ask how that connection is made for all mankind? <laughs> I said, I said, Christianity is really in Africa, but it is for the whole world. Is this statement saying otherwise? You know, when he's saying that, right? I'm asking, are you saying otherwise? Then he said, he responded, no questions needed. There are other belief systems. Each should not question someone else's belief system. So once again, I still want to say to the person, and I'm saying to the person, I'm still talking to them this time, is that, if you're just trying to make a blanket statement about your belief system, but not inviting me into that belief system, you may not get a question from me. 
But if you're saying that that is your way, so my, I guess my point I'm trying, and I guess you are going to come in. When I talk to you, I'm talking to you because I've been told to go preach the gospel. And when I'm preaching the gospel, I'm explaining the source that I got, and I'm explaining how salvation is available for all mankind. Now, you know, not Africans, not not white, not European, not Chinese, but for all mankind. And then when I'm talking about God, I'm talking about the creator of all mankind. I'm saying, so yes, you have good belief systems out there, and, and we can respect people's belief systems. I'm just sitting there saying is that my job at least to explain it if they want to hear. And if they don't want to receive it, that's fine. But it's, I think sometimes people, at least from the, you got to look at it from outside point of view of somebody. Some people thinking that you're challenging their system. And in the degree you are, when you say you are, they're challenging yours. Yeah, exactly. If you sit you there. That. You know, obviously, he believes in God because he's talking about it. At least that's what it seems like. Right, right. So, spirituality, yeah. Uh, and if he has an opinion about, you know, his God versus others, because if he's saying that there should be no question, then he knows that there's other gods out there. Yeah. Oh, systems. Yeah, that's the point. Right, right. So, okay. Did he answer whether he's inviting you or is anyone of color available to, to, to be a part? Well, he said, he, said, he said no salvation. No no salvation. Uh, so, no question is, is, is what he's saying. There's nobody's telling them that. So, this is the thing. He, he, well, first, I want to know what he, his understanding of salvation. Second, uh, how are they deep? How are they connected to their God? To God, that <laughs> see that requires a statement. I mean, that requires an answer of understanding, right there, right? Yeah, but I mean, if he said if he said there's no salvation, then what was the purpose of the connection? Then what you know right what's the today what's the purpose of the connection so god exists in in in, in I, I don't get it i know but that's what i'm saying you got to you know what i'm saying is that as you when you're out there ministering you're gonna you're gonna have all these different reasons and things that people have been dealt you know dealt with or pushed on that you're trying to explain to them, like you said earlier, the gospel. What does the word say? And then what, what I'm saying is, in a lot of cases, you're going to run across people who have been influenced by politics, by culture, by, you know, whatever, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I told him, I told him, I said on my, my text back to him, saying going back and forth, is when, when you, uh, when you actually die, you believe in this because he's talking about spirituality, right? I said, mm -hmm. what does your these other systems say about eternal life? Because spirituality, you can't kill a spirit. You only can kill the body. When the body, when a person leaves the body, where does their spirit go? What happens to that spirit? And this is well, it's, it's, it's like how, how, who told him about his God? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, how, where, where does his belief stem from? You know, okay, you, this is what I believe. There, there's no, <laughs> you know, there's no redemption. <laughs> but there is a God, and that God is for black people. Well, how did you get that information? How do you get that? Exactly. Where's your sword? And, and, and so I would like to know more about that. Yeah. And matter of fact, the question I would like to say, like I say, what happens? I said I was, I wanted some of the other religions that I've know maybe religions that I know, maybe religion, and I said, well, okay, you know, what happens to the spirit? Where does the spirit go? 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 Where does
as well as Islam, you have to go by the law. And if you ask one of them, are we going to have eternal life? They really can't answer that question because they've got to refer back to living the law and whether they have, you know, the law is working for them. But you know, you and I, we talked about with the Jews, there's no more sacrifice. And there's actually no more sacrifice going on right now, right? There's no burnt offerings and sin offerings or anything. Well, anyone who's doing that, right. I know, you know that the Buddhists, they put food out for a statue that the statue never eats. All right. They just place it. Right. You know, so it's an offering. Well, they you also know, believe Buddhism talks about reincarnation, right? They they yeah. they, base, they basically talk about it. You don't get it right, but Allison, when you die, you gonna come back again and try it again. <laughs> yeah, but when you get it right, then what? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's what I'm saying. That 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 one face a perpetual you you trying to get your act together. You know, yeah, but you know, then what? When, yeah. when, you, when you do it right, then what, what, what happens? You, what they say? You, what? I, 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 I remember in Vegas that the, uh, if you, you keep moving up a level until you get to where you don't come back, you go to you stay in heaven. So you, you work, you're supposed to move on, you come back, you don't get it right, you come back, but each time you're moving up to, to eternal life. Yeah, okay, but who, who created Boo? <laughs> right. Well, all the fact is, Boo was a, a, a priest. <laughs> right, right, right. Where did he get it from, right? Did he hear from God? It, but that's one of theirs. Uh, that's the same as Hinduism, too. It's a, you know. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's a bunch of, of uh, uh, Middle East and, uh, and, uh, Southeast, yeah. different religions in those different cultures, you know, but they, like when I was in Thailand, uh, they had, they had, uh, excuse me, I got three. Well, they, <laughs> they had a, a little, like, temple, but yay big, you know, some of maybe bigger. And it sat outside of the building, you know, in the courtyard, and right. they would kind of like acknowledge that as they went into that particular yard. And then right. there was uh, uh, like a small shrine altar inside the building where they put food and stuff. And they did put food and water at that one outside as well. You know, uh, and I do know that. You go to uh, different restaurants, you know, they have that little cat with the toggle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, there's just different, different idols and, and stuff like that. You put the yeah. food in different places. And, uh, but if you live that according to the law, uh -huh. at that Chinese restaurant with that idol sitting there pawing at you. That's what they believe. And exactly. so I <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and when you ask the question though, how do you not have eternal life? That that's that they can't answer that for you. Yeah, but yeah. The, it goes it goes down to just simple everyday life practices, you know. Right. Um, how how do you exist? And see, and, and see the according thing is, to your God. And see, the bottom line I put out there, I put the scripture back at first, and I said, well, that's what the scripture said. God is a way uh, that leads us to destruction, and many will find it. They won't find it. When they won't find eternal life, they'll find destruction. Then to the least to it. And I said, Merrill is a way and straight as a path to salvation. But Jesus said, I put the scripture, I just said, this Bible is telling me that this wide, there's a wide path that leads to destruction. Meaning there's different ways of people trying to get to, to destruction because they're trying to find the way. Because narrow is the way, wide is the way for destruction, narrow is the way for eternal life, and few to find it. Maybe we read that a couple of weeks ago, right? And I told him, I said, Jesus, this Bible is telling me 
I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. This is what the Word is telling me. Yeah. You know, but, you know it, it, there is something, you know, when I, I'm just sitting back just thinking like if I was someone outside looking in and uh, yeah, I would, I would obviously point to scriptures that say what I am and who I am and how I am and the reason behind it. Um, but what does that what differs from any other person saying that you know according to their religion you know what they say and the answer that is god he confirms his words with signs follow and that is the disconnect in this day yeah. who is demonstrating that God is and well, that he yeah. is the order of, of those who are seeking diligently, who is who is actively ministering in such power and such authority and such wisdom and there are signs following so that they know that God is. So I know that the prophets, you know, they were, they had signs followed. This is fire to the Holy Spirit. Right. I know that disciples, they walked with signs following. Of course, Jesus Christ, signs followed. Uh, and then there, there's other great work that God done. The, the, the difference is we need to start fully walking in what we are called to walk in and fully be what we are called to be. I mean, I've been dealing with this thing that my father is God. And, and I'm wrapping my mind around this thing and it's really been dealing with me because like I said, God always shows me my relationship with him through my relationship with my people. Right. You know, and how my sons view me and how they interact with me and, and their expectations, their desires, their wills, and how they come to me and stuff. And God uses that. Right. But one thing that I've noticed is that my sons are capable of demonstrating the life that the the life that that they live according to my will, and when they line up with my will, right. and, and and the blessings that they receive from me, the authority, the power that they get from me, and when when they need me, how I'm there and I make a difference in their life, then I got to question where's that? Where's that mindset? Where's that faith? Like my right. youngest.